When Tom Cruise arrived at Victoria Beckham's 50th birthday celebration on Saturday, the actor stopped to assist a photographer who had fallen to the ground. The 61-year-old American movie star grabbed the snapper's arm when he stumbled outside Oswald's, an exclusive members club in Mayfair, London. Goal, unbelievable legend Tom's entrance created a lot of commotion outside the exclusive venue, and the man stumbled as photographers and admirers rushed to catch his eye. After the man got up, Tom went inside the private club to honor Victoria, the fashion designer, on her birthday. Days had passed since his daughter Suri, who resides in New York with her mother Katie Holmes, celebrated her 18th birthday when the incident occurred. On her big day on Thursday, Suri looked like the exact replica of her mother Katie from her days growing up in Dawson's Creek, playing around the Big Apple. Filming Mission Impossible 8 in the UK, Tom has been no part of Surrey's life for the past 11 years. Tom, a blockbuster regular, and Surrey have not been in contact since 2013, the year following their divorce. The star from Top Gun last appeared in public with his daughter during a Disneyland visit in 2012, the year that his divorce from Katie was finalized. It was stated at the time of their divorce that Katie's decision to dissolve the union was motivated by concerns about raising her daughter as a Scientologist, a faith to which Tom has been devoted for many years. Due to the significant gulf that her decision to leave the religion and the marriage created between the two ex-spouses, Tom and Suri's connection has grown progressively more strained over time. In accordance with their divorce settlement, Tom was supposed to pay Katie $400,000 in child support annually, but that ended on her birthday. On Saturday, Tom attended Victoria's birthday party. He looked dapper in a black tuxedo, matching bow tie, and white shirt. He covered his eyes with dark sunglasses. After sustaining an injury at the gym, former Spice Girl Victoria dazzled in a semi-sheer floor-length green gown as she hobbled into the event on crutches and was ready to celebrate the milestone with a number of her A-list friends. Victoria, the birthday girl, looked stunning in a beautiful sleeveless dress with a gorgeous floral pattern on the side and frills around the waist. David, Victoria's spouse, arrived looking dapper in a black evening suit with a white shirt and bow tie to match. Harper, the couple's 12-year-old daughter, arrived with him. Harper dressed elegantly in white satin, matching her mother's style with open-toed shoes. Romeo, the middle son, and his elder brother Brooklyn, the 25-year-old, both wore suits to match their well-known father. Cruz, a 19-year-old, on the other hand, wore a cream evening suit with black brogues and a black bow tie. The wannabe pop sensation posed carelessly with his hand in his pockets while sporting a pair of light brown braces to finish off his ensemble. Other attendees were Eva Longoria and Jerry Horner, Victoria's ex-bandmate from the Spice Girls, who came by herself after supporting her husband Christian, who was being criticized. Victoria turned 50 on Wednesday, April 17, and she decided to celebrate at the Private Members Club, one of her favorite hangouts in London. The Beckham family has long been fond of Oswald's, David and Victoria have been seen exiting the upscale restaurant numerous times. Given their extensive celebrity network of friends, which includes Eva Longoria and Gordon Ramsay, Victoria's guest list is sure to be a who's who of well-known figures attending the location for a private celebration. Oswald's is undoubtedly praised for its discretion. It doesn't have a social media presence, and even its website doesn't give much away about what visitors might anticipate when they enter through the modest front door. The club's interior design, which includes columns, chandeliers, and crimson cushioned seats, is undoubtedly influenced by the Gilded Age. According to Tatler, a mantelpiece is decorated with fresh flowers and foliage that is changed twice a week. The restaurant upstairs, where Victoria and her friends would celebrate her birthday with a lavish meal, has a stairwell adorned with framed artwork, posters, and dog photos. The restaurant itself has a vibrant design, complete with velvet ecot cushions, vibrant ceramics on the walls, and patterned upholstered chairs. Guests love the tequila cocktails and the South African-inspired food, and Victoria is probably going to indulge in one of her few vices, a glass or two of wine. 
According to a prior report from last week, Victoria is thrilled that all four of her children, including her son Brooklyn, will be present for her celebration. It's the nicest present she could have, they remarked, and it will be a small, private family get dashed together. It will be near their residence in London. Although David has pulled off a few tricks, Victoria's true desire is to be among her loved ones, Victoria is thrilled that the children will be staying for a few days, and on Saturday night, they will all join her for a fancy dinner.